Okay, this is going to be my tip of the day video, so it's going to be very short, and we're going to talk about breadboard wiring. Now when you start a project, you mount your components on the breadboard, so I have a microcontroller, I got an accelerometer, I got an FTDI module, over here I got a LoRa radio module, so you plug them in, then you have to wire them up. So you can see how I got all my projects wired up. Now you could buy jumper wire, like this, mail to mail, and I've used these for simple projects, but when the project gets complex, it gets kind of cluttered. So here's an example, if you're using a lot of these, so you end up with something like this. So I use 24 gauge solid copper wire, that's what, it, what you see here, and I get this wire from communication cables. Okay, this is communication cable, and they come in a few common sizes. You could get them in 25 pair, 50 pair, or 100 pair. So this is a 100 pair comm cable, 24 gauge, so there's 200 wires in this cable. Now you could pick up this cable at a wire and cable supply store, or you could get them from a salvage yard, because when they tear down buildings, they usually pull out all the copper. And this cable is used from floor-to-floor -floor communications in office buildings, and it's called riser cable. So this is indoor riser cable, because the outdoor type is grease-filled, and you don't want that. You want this type here, it's called riser cable. So I get this cable, and I cut a piece off, so I get a, a cutter, Get, a, get some cable cutters, and I cut a piece off about this size, and then I strip out the wire. Okay, I cut a piece off about 10 inches, and that's plenty length for a breadboard. You can see here, it's enough there. And I go to the dollar store and I pick up these trays, these pencil trays, that are the width of a, a typical desk drawer. You can see here. So I strip out the copper, strip out the copper wire out of here, and I put them in here, and then I'm set to do my wiring on my breadboard projects. Okay, all I need is a X-Acto knife or a box cutter and cut the jacket right across. And pull out. Now everything is bundled. They come in bundles. So you have to take off the the bundling string and we break out all our wire clean it all up and put that in the pencil tray and then we're set for another for another project okay here's a wire that I want to apply to my breadboard so get your favorite strippers strip off a section like that so get some bare copper and we plug it in the starting point we can put it here. Then we measure to where we want to go. So we'll say we want to go over to here. And we cut it. And we strip it. And we plug it in our destination point. There we go. And we work it in. So it fits. There we go. Now this wire also works very well for prototype boards, for prototyping, as you can see here. So all the wiring that you see is all 24 gauge. It's taken out of comm cables. And you just solder, solder the back. And you got yourself a project now, a prototyping project, using that, that type of wire. Okay, I got a full tray of wire now so I could start projects. So if you could get a hold of a 15 foot, 100 pair communications cable, that will last you the rest of your life. And that's my tip of the day.